So, just another quick video about a couple of enhancements that's been made to the filter functionalities in Virtual DJ in the latest version, and that is built 6978 at the time of this recording. So what has happened? Well, you probably know you have the filter folders over here, and if we create a new one here by simply clicking this button with this pop-up, so we're just going to call that test. And the new features in test is actually that you can use two new little functions here, hash cue points and hash action points. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So if I choose this one and says, well, it has to have cue points. So it's the true, which is one, really. So I put that in there. Then it, it just shows all the files I have, all the track files I have that has cue points in them. So you can see that's actually three and a half thousand. So those are actually probably the ones that I've used for DJing and played during times. I can also set to zero, which will show you the 21,000 that have ne probably never been used for DJing in my case because they don't have any cue points in them. So that's, that's what one of the new fields. And the other one is for action points. And what are action points? Well, these are the uh, the, the little uh, scripts you can put into files so that the files actually do something automatically while being played. And those are pretty important to identify so you don't get taken by surprise for something you did half a year ago to a track. So right now it's set to zero in my filter, which is almost all of them, but let's try setting it to one. So these are actually the two only files that I should worry about because they have action, uh, action POIs in them, points of interests. So let's just check what they might be. So I'm just going to shut this down and uh, see, well, what are these? Well, this was one has a loop in it. So when it gets to this point, it'll start doing a, 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 a two beat loop. So that's pretty important to know because it'll just always happen. So uh, great information. And what's the other one? Well, that's actually on the video I can see by the icon. So let's look at the PUI. So it's here. Oh, it's going to uh, skip. 16 beats right here, probably so right this little part of the track. So that might be fine. That might, might be something I've done um, a long time ago, uh, just to, to, to make the video shorter and take out an unimportant part. So that was the, uh, the two new features. But this was, of course, in the filters over here. And some might say, well, I just want to look at it in my current folder. How do I do that? Well, for that, you need to, uh, to, to use something else. So if I go into a folder here, or well, this is just a, a, a favorite place, a favorite folder. So it's really just a place in the hard drive that has these tracks in it. And uh, to use the same two new features, you can use this. You can use the quick filters here. So let's try adding a quick filter. So same thing. All the way at the bottom, there are the two new ones. So let's do Q points. Q points equals one. So show me all the ones that has cue points in them, like that. So just get a new, a, a new little uh, a button here, so I can click it. And that's almost all of them. I've used these quite a lot, so almost all of them have cue points. But let's invert it, hit it, and then said, well, I actually want the ones that has cue points zero. Yeah, and click it again. And now we get the two ones that does not have coupons in them. So you can use that to check if you're missing some coupons in the track. You can do the same thing with the other new one. So if I go into edit again, uh, you can say, sorry, you can say has action points here. And again, uh, zero or one, so has action points one. Uh, zero is the other ones that have no action points in them. Uh, we probably want to change the name then. So like this. <clears throat> so like this. And as you can see, that's all of them. I don't have action points in any of these, which are it's natural because I would have two in my entire database. But let's just try to invert it. So has POIs. Say this is the one.
And then you can now, of course, see that removes everything in this current folder, all 16 files, because none of them have pure uh, POIs. So that's just a, a, a quick little go through of the two new uh, hash action POIs and hash queue points. Um, uh, added features to the filter uh, functionality in uh, Visual DJ in two different places.